What are we going to talk about today, bro? Listen, we're going to talk about how an old camera can be your new camera. I picked up, you know, went out and, and I found the X-T2 and I picked it up and I'm like loving it. You know why? Because I didn't have a Fuji in my life before like that. I had the X100S, but that's a whole different but I, animal altogether. Explain why you had a change of heart. Because I remember you said you didn't like how they felt in your hands. How do you feel now with the controls and the dials, which is what makes the cameras so great? What the problem was originally is when I when I borrowed yours was that I spent a week or two with it. You don't think that was and, enough? And, and it was mostly on the weekends and it was like an hour here, an hour there. And it's one of those things that your brain's like, no, new, different, walk yes. away, walk away. Yes. But then, you know, once, you know, you get it in your hands and you start seeing the image quality come out of it. Because what I did was, uh, a friend of mine had it. So I, what I did was I um, put my memory card in it, took a bunch of pictures. In acro- Acros. Acros. Oh, you like the Acros? And I went home and I looked at the stuff and I said, you know what? There's a potential here that I need to tap into. It's not about the way the the dials work it's about learning the dials yeah and i think just taking those pictures looking at the out the, the output whether it was raw or jpeg um i realized the files I, are nice i, I, I realized that this is very usable the files are nice what do i do street photography for not to go home and spend eight hours editing my raw you know exactly when i can easily just post that that jpeg with a little touch here and a little touch there raise, yeah. the, raise the aperture until raise the exposure but then omar told me how to bump up the shadow yeah and yeah I'm like, oh, problem solved you can uh make your own film simulations mm. on there like you could take classic chrome and add a bunch more color to it you can take the shadows up um uh, you hit on a perfect point, and that's what got me into Fujifilm was I don't want to edit anymore. I don't want to, after editing for the week, you know, mm-hmm. for a client, I don't want to go and, and process RAWs to post. I want to see them. I want to put them on my phone. And the, the especially the Acros, mm-hmm. like a black and white that you take street photography, it comes out of the camera. It looks great. The Acros, the classic chrome. I realized, though... I don't like classic chrome. I I do, but then I realized it doesn't work for food. (laughs) (laughs) No. It makes your food look like, oh, you're going to eat that? Oh, Oh my God. Oh, my but luckily, we have we have very great fans and and you know fellow photographers on the Instagram page for the Mo and O Photo Show, and they've already given me a thousand oh, cool. tips, ideas That's like you great. know use this for food, use that for food. Yeah, I like uh, Velvia for food if it's like a very bright fruit bowl. You, you know, know, you can one boost that the color. Like Asteria, Astera, Astia. That's more for like soft portrait kind of. Mm, mm. Get down, down. Oh yeah, <laughs> a little boudoir right oh, there. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Just put it on Ostia. So the point here is, you know what? This camera is the about three, two? four years old, right? Yeah. And it's perfect for my new camera. You know, it's like... It's perfect for your new camera. I love it's, that. It's, it's not like, you know, you got the 18 to 55 f2.8 to 4. You have the 23 f2 on here, which is my street lens. This is my everything else lens. If I need to borrow a, a 56, you know, f1.2 from Omar. No. So I could do my little no. boudoir stuff. No. But you know what? Yeah, actually, that would be great. 56 uh, Acros. Uh, by the way, if you shoot, make sure you shoot raw and JPEG. Because as, as good, mm-hmm. as beautiful as Acros is, sometimes you got to get that color back. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I have the dual, I'm using the dual cards, which, you know, I, Omar and I always criticize cameras that don't have dual cards. We don't really criticize them. We just wish they did have dual cards. I know. Uh, and that's the perfect thing about this one. I'm slamming one with the RAWs and I'm slamming the other one with the JPEGs. I'm going to give you a couple other reasons why the old camera is a good new camera. A couple of things, like for example, the X-T3, it's not a big deal, but it was made in, it was assembled in China, mm. okay? So they can mass produce them a lot They're more. They're spying on us with the camera. <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> Does this say Huawei <laughs> on here? <laughs> uh, what's, I mean, look at it right down here. Mm. This camera was completely made and assembled in Japan, and that's total snobbiness, but the the it says made in Japan on it. So there's mm. some nice little, I'm a big Seiko watch guy thing totally completely made in japan i like that and and it's it's water resistant wait wait number two can i finish my other point bro Uh, before you start throwing water i had points i thought you had point dude you got it in spot (laughs) metering do you know that no i'm still learning everything all right so this right here this dial underneath is your meter mode Mm -hmm. and um for most general you can leave it on the matrix which is like the evaluative one 
you probably notice your camera like switching exposure a lot with、oh. spot because it just is a little tiny exposure. Whatever you can leave it on there. Spot metering. You can be、good. dumb if you want to be. <laughs> yeah, you want to be an a hole.、Um, the other thing I was going to mention, for example, if someone is deciding between the XT30 and the XT20, right?、Um, they remove the D pad from the XT30. And if you're someone that doesn't really like touchscreens that much, then the old camera is better. If you don't need the movie making capabilities, and I've done a video on the the autofocus of the XT20, it can catch someone running full speed at you. Are you really shooting sprinters? You know, slaloming and skiing, and you know,、uh, we're not. You, if your kid is running towards you, the XT20 can pick them up. Right. Great video, by the way. Link it here, but no. <laughs> Which video is that? The one where you have him running at you. Oh yeah, my kid. I, I'm doing it. I'm working on another Fuji film video with my kid running at me.、Oh, poor kid. <laughs> I, Good thing he loves to run. <laughs> I think someone's gonna call child services on me. Sir, sir, it is、Are、5 a.m. Why is your son running <laughs> up and down this hill? We're testing autofocus. <laughs> God damn it. Um, but I think I, I, you bring up an excellent point. But there is a limit, though.、Mm-mm. There is a limit, like what digital camera? You know, there. It, well, how many years we're talking here? It's, it's not years. Is it's it's as simple as it does. It still provides you an、You're、output、right. that you need. You're right. You're like, right. Like you honestly, this could have been the XT1. Yeah, it could have been. I picked it up. I love the way it felt. You know what killed it? Doesn't it doesn't have, have acros. It doesn't have acros.、Yeah. And I even reached out to Omar. Am I not finding it, or is it not there? He's no, like, they don't have it. He's like, walk away, son. <laughs> walk away. <laughs> and I, I cried inside because you know what? It was like really super affordable,、um, and like I said, it felt good. It, it had everything I needed, except the reason I wanted to jump into Fuji. Yeah, yeah. Which is for the film simulation, and specifically that black and white that we know as yeah. acros acrasi. Yeah, yeah. I think it's acros, but it's whatever. Word, I say what I want. I sold my my Canon 5D Mark III,、mm-hmm. which people still use. It's it's an incredible camera to a kid, a girl in college who was trying to get、uh, b- go to full frame, and she paid eight hundred bucks for it. Eight、mm-hmm. hundred bucks. That、right. camera was three grand. Right. You and, know, <laughs> three grand. If I have a hair on my head, yes, it was a lot. Right. Yeah. You know, and now the Canon 5D Mark IV with the the all these new mirrorless cameras coming out, that camera is in like man, that can shoot everything, weddings, sports. It's one of those things like you cannot allow yourself to be brainwashed by what people are telling you you need. But there are limits. I'm I'm gonna throw it out there. There are limits. Like for example, if if someone's like, hey, would you pick up a Sony seven? Uh, an A7,、mm-hmm. the first one that came out.、Right. Well, you know what? You pick up that camera and it, it'll work for you fine. But they didn't know they the the dials and the things were a lot flimsier, like very plasticky. Yeah, and and also、uh, the, the, the that's a bad example because maybe that, a bad that, example that was that was their entry way into the full. Yeah, and、frame. also it's still a damn good camera. It, yeah, you know, so for someone who's if they pay four hundred for that camera or even、yeah. less. Even、yeah. less because again, I was looking around and you can get it really cheap on on like Swappa, eBay. It, it's like it's amazing what you can pay for things. Yeah, we will say though you have to really know where you're buying from.、Uh, exactly, you don't want to buy it from George across the street. George, he's our friend. Not that guy. The other George, <laughs> who hangs out with Susan. So you don't want to buy it from George, who's got like a eight hundred thousand actuations on the shutter. You know, you, you gotta be careful. That sounds good. Eight thousand, eighty thousand, I would say. Eight hundred thousand, I said. Oh, you said eight hundred. I thought you said eight thousand. I'm like, I'll buy it. Where's if George? If I didn't, if I didn't, I should have said eight hundred thousand actuations, which is four times the actual amount you should ever have on it before replacing. Agreed. So anyway, the best camera is probably an old camera for some of you. Don't get caught up on the in the hype and rock that camera. No one's going to notice you know, except for you. If you're learning how to use a camera, an older camera is better. One. Because it's already been established, it's you already know its flaws, you already know its pluses. Yeah, you're not buying an, a three thousand dollar camera that you're about to have like issues until the next firmware comes out because it's brand new and、yeah. they, they didn't realize oh it wouldn't autofocus on a Tuesday, you know,、yeah. or, or or that the the shutter speed stops at four hundred instead of four thousand. You know, problems that you don't realize with new cameras is exactly that problems that you don't know because the mass people haven't used them. So that's the beautiful thing about an old camera. That's a good camera. I don't don't get don't get the the Samsung fifty five forty four camera, yeah, but、yeah. but get yourself a decent camera that's old. And you're going to be very happy. You're going to learn with it. You're going to take great shots with it. I have been nothing but impressed with the XT2 so far. Do you, 
have because I've I've realized in the last year and a half, I get asked almost once a week, if not more, what camera should I buy? I know, and it's funny. I struggle with that question a so lot. So what I've decided to do, if I don't know you, is to tell you honestly, I can't answer that question, right? Mm-hmm. And if I do know you. I need to sit down and have coffee with you and discuss the cameras over thing, things with the cameras with you. Like, what are you using it for? How far are you going to learn with it? Are you going to want to advance? Can I throw something even snottier out there? I get coffee out of it, though. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw something snottier out there mm-hmm. because daily I get Instagram messages. And if you want to contact me, it's totally fine to contact me via Instagram. But a huge paragraph giving me the person's background and what two cameras, they have it down to two. Mm. Which and means like, they already have it down to one. Yeah, maybe. But 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 who am I to like decide my, the camera for you? You know what I mean? So that's number one is I don't like as a, a snotty answer is kind of like, you need to decide yourself, number you know one. Why, you know why you're right with that guy? What's number two? Sorry, I don't want to cut you off. No, I was going to say number one is you need to t- decide because my uh, sort of thought on cameras is completely different than you. You know, you might... This may be a big decision for you, and I don't want to just blase and be like, get the X-T10. You're done. Get it done. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I say that you're right because as your friend and your bodyguard behind the scenes, I get so angry when someone comments on your videos like, oh, you made me get this camera. I'm like, no, I don't I know. Think, I bought this because of you. I, I don't think, you, you know, you bought it because you wanted it, and Omar just reconfirmed what you thought was uh, going to yeah. be good about it. So, yeah, there is a little bit of pressure. You never want to dial down to this is the exact camera you want. Ultimately, people as adults, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need to make your own decisions. Yeah, yeah, and I think a lot of people, I, 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 there's got to be categories of people that are just camera collectors. Mm-hmm. They're not really doing a lot of photography. They're just really like the technology uh, that's in the cameras, uh, but they're not producing photographs that maybe make them happy. No. So what they focus on, on is all the fun. The fun stuff is like it's a machine. 